Greetings, everyone. Thank you for rejoining me on this wonderful journey that we share through this YouTube channel. Today, I carry with me a profound message, a sacred revelation that has been bestowed upon me by the Lord. This concerns the essence of the upcoming month, an important shift in seasons that holds both symbolic and spiritual significance. As my prayer unfurled, I was met with a divine communication, a whisper from God that echoed in the silent chambers of my soul. A message about a metamorphosis, a transition that will take us into this new season. Beyond the physical, within the spiritual realm, I saw God's faithful, traversing a metaphorical winter, emerging from the desolate wilderness, the painstaking waiting period of spring, and the restorative resting phase. They are poised on the threshold of a vibrant summer season, a time when the divine purpose God has been nurturing within them is blooming into life. God showed me a vision that illustrates His message, a grove of trees, heavy with the promise of summer fruits. The fruits, not yet ripened, hidden among the lush foliage, unseen yet full of potential. At first sight, this grove may appear simply green and unyielding. Similarly, when you examine your life, it may seem as if nothing has changed, as if God's promises remain unfulfilled. Your surroundings might seem unaltered, the breakthrough God promised may not have manifested in a recognizable form. Yet, just like those fruits slowly ripening in the summer sun, there's profound spiritual activity happening under the surface of your life. Even though the world cannot see it, even if you cannot see it, your life is being shaped, transformed, and readied for what's to come. Progress has been made, and the growth, the ripening, is soon to become visible. This brings to mind a poignant quote, though the author's name escapes me. They thought they had plucked you from the tree of life, not realizing you were a fruit yet to ripen. As such, you are destined to burst forth into new life in this approaching season. The trials and tribulations, the adversities you faced, may have seemed like attempts by the enemy to pluck you prematurely, to extinguish the divine calling within you. But you, my friends, are fruits of God's tree, carrying a divine spark within. You've been nurtured on the branches of adversity, where God has orchestrated a divine transformation within you, preparing you for an imminent bloom. Reflect on the journey of a piece of coal, subjected to immense pressure and heat. This stressful environment, this period of testing, is not without purpose. Within the depths of the earth, the coal experiences a transformation so profound that it emerges as a precious diamond. Much like this coal, you have endured your time in the crucible of challenges, and now you stand ready to emerge, transformed and ready to embrace your new, radiant self. The season of waiting, of preparation, is drawing to a close. The wilderness has served its purpose. You are on the precipice of a new era. Get ready to step out, ripe, to emerge from the earth and to embrace the blessings of this new season that God is ushering you into. Within the fertile depths of your soul, a divine narrative has been quietly unfolding, woven by the patient hands of God. Inside the intimate chambers of your heart, a sanctified masterpiece has been patiently gestating. And now, like a tree in the full blush of summer, it stands ready to burst forth in a riotous display of divine bounty. You are on the precipice of a holy transformation, one that is about to bear resplendent fruits, ripe with the fullness of His promise. There's a misconception, a false narrative that paints seasons of waiting as barren landscapes of squandered opportunities and wasted hours. But I offer you a different perspective, one illuminated by the brilliance of God's divine wisdom. The desert is not a place of death, but a crucible of growth, a place where God crafts us into vessels of His glory. He cultivates us, filling our spiritual arsenals with tools and wisdom we need for the battles that lie ahead. So even in the apparent stillness, know that your patience isn't pointless. You may see this chapter as a sun-bleached expanse of unproductive days, even years. But remember this, God's perception of time transcends our earthly comprehension. He is the weaver of all seasons, the architect of time itself. 
The feeling of being left behind, of lagging in the race, is merely an illusion. A divine acceleration is taking shape in the spiritual realm. Picture the moment when a seed, after its long slumber beneath the frost-hardened earth, finally unfurls into the light. That, dear friend, is the miraculous instant of breakthrough, the manifestation of patient perseverance. As you transition from subterranean solitude to resplendent flowering, you will witness an unprecedented acceleration in your life. The time you believed was lost, God is ready to redeem and not just recover but magnify and multiply in a staggering display of His divine providence. Contemplate a task that could take a year or two under normal circumstances to accomplish. With God's divine intervention, such a feat could be accomplished in a moment, a day, or even a fraction of a second. Encourage your faith to find synchrony with this spiritual acceleration. Surrender your doubts and apprehensions, and trust in the limitless potential of God's power to expedite your growth. Take to heart the image of a soldier, disciplined and ready, even in periods of waiting, of dormancy. An army does not lose its potency in the quiet hours of rest and preparation. Just as a soldier's strength does not diminish while encamped, God has been nurturing you into a spiritual warrior, steadily preparing you for the divine mission He has ordained for you. The moment of deployment approaches. When an army launches into action, the transition from waiting to conquering is sudden, swift, and decisive. This mirrors your impending spiritual acceleration. The moment the process of blooming begins, the moment the new season of growth is ushered in, your life will undergo a divine shift in speed and intensity. Perhaps you've been feeling like you're stuck in a spiritual rut, feeling as though you're merely surviving, not thriving. Yet in the divine schema, this is but the prelude. As an army leaps from quiet vigilance to urgent action, so too will you experience an abrupt shift from a seemingly stagnant phase to a season of rapid advancement. Your spirit will leap forward, transforming the terrain of your life into fertile fields ripe with the blessings of God. No matter how long you've been waiting, no matter how many setbacks you've faced, remember this. God has been quietly working in the background, tenderly nurturing your spirit for the journey ahead. Every hardship, every tear, every prayer is a seed sown in the soil of your soul, ready to flourish under His divine acceleration. Consider a sapling, that modest symbol of potential, with its roots delving deep and its branches stretching skyward. Imagine a period when growth seems to stagnate, when despite all the sunshine and rain, your ascent towards the sky is hindered, disrupted. You are reaching, striving to break through the soil and burgeon into the fullness of a tree, but it seems a futile effort. You just can't seem to progress to that next level, that next stage of height and grandeur. However, dear friend, I'm here to assure you, to share a divine promise. In this season of your life, you're poised to experience growth, to break free from the stagnation and truly flourish. Imagine this, the moment God's light illuminates your path, the moment His divine wisdom unveils all that He's been carefully nurturing within your heart and soul, a shift will occur. It won't be a slow transition, a tentative creep towards change. No, it's going to be dynamic, sudden, a whirlwind of transformation. You'll find yourself not just effective in the spirit, but incredibly potent, making waves that ripple through your life and the lives of those around you. You'll behold the abundant fruit that God's been nurturing in the garden of your existence, the tangible evidence of His workings in your life. In this spirit, let me share a passage of scripture with you. It's a well-known verse, often quoted, always cherished. Many of you will recognize it. Many of you have heard the assurances it offers about God birthing forth a new thing. But it's not simply about the newness, but about the manner of its arrival. It's about the freshness that bursts forth, like the first tender shoots of spring, it's about that moment when you finally emerge from the cave, the place where God has kept you sheltered, safe, and unseen. For in the shadows of your life, there's been a steady rumble of change, a slow brewing, a continuous development. 
Your circumstances may not have visibly changed, but with God's timely revelation, this transformative power will spring forth. It will be quick, unexpected, like a flower blooming overnight. The promise I speak of is immediate, relevant to your present life. I am convinced, based on divine insight, that you will witness a transformation starting this month. Let's consider Isaiah 43, 19. See, I am doing a new thing. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It's not about the new thing, but its emergence, recognizing God's work. Many of us are already in the midst of this new thing, oblivious to its existence. We traverse life often unaware of divine intervention. Reflect on your spiritual journey, the milestones crossed, and recognize God's plan subtly interwoven into your existence. Shifts in life can be rapid or subtly creeping in, subtly molding us towards a new destiny, even if we're unaware. The scripture states, Behold, it springs forth, do you not perceive it? This is the change that awaits. Are you aware? We must focus on Jesus, our guide through the wilderness, providing sustenance in desolation. Now let's pray. A prayer for your imminent transformation, ready to emerge. Your years of learning and growth will soon bear fruit as God's plan unfolds. Let's intertwine our faiths in this divine prophecy and pray together. This prayer is for you. Father, in Jesus' sacred name, I pray for every individual who can hear my voice. May your blessings rain down on them abundantly. Father, let this newfound path you have charted for them spring forth. Let your living water flow freely in their lives, quenching their spiritual thirst. Father, may the nourishing rain replenish their barren lands. Father, we give thanks for your unending mercy, for the healing you bestow, and for the salvation you bring to their families. Father, we are grateful for your divine intervention, propelling them towards the destiny and purposes you've so lovingly curated. We place our humble request in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And now, dear friends, if this message has stirred your soul, please do share the love. Like this video, spread it wide and far, subscribe to the channel, and help it reach the hearts that need this encouragement. Use Messenger, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You know the platforms, and you know the people who need this. Let the ripple of this message touch the lives of many. I'll return soon with more divine guidance and wisdom. Until then, stay blessed and cherished. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.